Hey, welcome back to No Hype Beer Reviews. Unless it's your first time, then welcome. Please consider subscribing. If you do, hit the notification bell, get all the updates. We're excited for today's video. So it's Tuesday and Tuesdays, I try to test my palate, drink something outside my norm, um, and that definitely includes spirits. And I'm super excited to have this one. Uh, it's courtesy of my good friends, Mark and Sue. Thanks so much, guys, I really appreciate it. Uh, they gave it to me for my 40th birthday. And I, I just saw Mark, sometimes you may hear me talk about him. Uh, we get our dogs together and we go for walks almost every single day. We actually just got back from a walk. and. Um, but I was telling him, I'm like, you know, yeah, I was saving this for a special occasion to open it. Uh, and then I said this in a, a different video, but like then my brother-in-law passed away and I'm like, I'm not trying to be heavy, but I'm just like, you know, why wait until that? You know, like, like what, what, I don't even have like a special day in mind. No one special that I was waiting for. You know, I'm like, what, like, just open it, dude. Like you love rye whiskey, <laughs> like just open it. So that's why I'm doing it today. Um, I like the part, I have not had this before. I literally just opened it, poured it. I like to give it a couple of minutes to open up a little bit before I get into it. So let me read what's on the, uh, the old bottle. Uh, Hudson Whiskey, New York. Um, I don't think I've had anything from this distillery, um, but I have seen uh, a delivery truck with, <laughs> with their, uh, their logo on this side before. Uh, it's a great name. Do the rye thing. Come on, come on. New York uh, distillery with a name like that. It's perfect. New York straight rye whiskey. Uh, this is 46 alcohol by 46% alcohol by uh, volume. And on the back, as bold as New York. Welcome to New York. It's a city that's bold yet refined, artful and unapologetic. Uh, the same spirit seeps into our straight rye whiskey. New York State ingredients meeting New York City ingenuity for a rich grain forward flavor. Do the rye thing. We did it. New York's first straight rye whiskey in nearly a century in a style all our own. Bold and spicy with notes of citrus and honey and a bright mint finish. Do the rye thing is as iconic as a classic New York slice. <laughs> Distilled and matured by, what is this? Tuffleton Spirits in Garnier, New York. I don't know that. Uh, age a minimum of three years. There you go. All right. So yeah, it has that kind of like a honey agave syrup kind of color. You know, six to the side glass. It's not, it looks pretty clear on the side of the glass. There's not really like a orange or a brown tint to it. But definitely that those legs are sticking, right? I mean, I, I hope that's coming up on camera. Definitely sticking, starting to drip down a little bit. Looks beautiful. Let's get into the aroma. I see their honey thing. Like there, there is uh, a sweetness to it, almost like a, a an apple cinnamony thing. More cinnamon baking spices than apple. I, th I think just because of the uh, baking spices and the sweetness. I'm thinking apple. You know, but because it's not, you know, now I'm smelling it more. It really is not like an apple crisp or anything. It doesn't smell like that, actually. Yeah, I can definitely see that honey. There's a little spiciness I associate with rye. Vanilla. Some oak coming through. Smells really good. Let's get into the sip. Cheers. Thanks again, Mark and Sue. Hope you guys are doing well. Follows in the taste pretty closely. Wow. Ooh. Big caramel. And I think that's part of when I said apple. Like It's like all these things I associate with apples. You know, caramel apple, uh, uh, cinnamon and apple. You know, cinnamon and applesauce, cinnamon and an apple pie, baking spices, you know, and all that stuff. Um, nice caramel note, too. Slight spiciness from, again, like that I associate with rye, but not overly spicy. Like, I don't think if, if someone doesn't love that element of a rye whiskey, um, I don't think this would be too much that it would be off putting for most of them, unless like you are really adverse to it. Um, it definitely has that sweet honey thing. It, it for a moment, I want to say maple syrup, but it's not mapley, you know. So I think that honey, you know, and I said a guave, uh, a nectar in the um, or syrup in the, you know, uh, um, the look of it. I, I could see a little bit on the taste as well. Um, the baking spice I got in the aroma a little bit less, but the vanilla I got in the aroma definitely there. I love the, the I love vanilla, and it's almost got this like somewhere between vanilla and butterscotch pudding. Um, I, I can't quite place it. So that caramel thing, but then even a little bit more um, 
almost like I think the vanilla makes it seem close to the difference between caramel and butterscotch. Doesn't isn't it similar? But butterscotch has cream in it, uh, so it's a little richer that way. And I think the vanilla note in that is making me think actually more butterscotch. But there's like a, a very much caramelized sugar caramel note also. This is really nice. Um, uh, pretty smooth to sip on also. You know, all that time I spent saying absolutely no apple, there might be a hint of apple, but, but or like just generically orchard fruit. I don't know, but I want to say apple, but I don't know if it's just because I've said it so many times and now it's in my brain. This is a really nice sip. This is really nice. Although I'll tell you what, I could easily keep doing it like this, but the brain is going to, to places that would be, you know, how this would be in a nice cocktail. And like an apple... <clears throat> some sort of apple cinnamony kind of a cocktail would be really nice with this. Um, but yeah, thanks again, guys. I really appreciate it. This is delicious. Um, and I'm glad I did not wait for some, you know, <laughs> undefined future date uh, that was deemed important enough to open this. I'm really glad I opened it out. It's delicious. <clears throat> if you guys had this before, if you had anything else from this distillery, drinking something else, it could be a spirit, it could be beer, tea, I don't care. Anything, everything, comment section below. Let's get a conversation going. Once you're done doing that, make sure you check me out on Instagram at Untapped. It's no hype beer reviews at both those places. So please, please like, comment, subscribe, and most importantly, imbibe. Cheers, everyone.